Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I thought I'd recommend three books which I thought would be useful for a young graduate exiting dental school. Now, I've chosen these books very carefully and I thought it'd be a nice good introduction to your new life as a young dentist. Now, I'm gonna start with the first book and it's a personal favourite of mine and weirdly it's not being recommended in most of the top five books that I see on lists out there. And it's called The Total Money Made Cover by Dave Ramsey. Now, this is an old school book. You'll see it in the old business aisles and business top ten books in the last 20 so years and it's a very simple book and I think this was my first book I thought I'd recommend to young dentists because it's very important to understand finance. They don't really teach that in dental school, they don't really teach it anywhere really, not even in high school. It gives you a nice good financial foundation starting off your tree as a dentist because things can get out of control quite quickly if you don't understand the fundamentals. Now in this book she talks about sort of baby steps and how to organize your finances and put stuff to the side savings wise and investments is a nice introduction to money and I think that's a topic that dental school doesn't really teach you, they don't even dip your toes into it nowadays and you don't really ne learn it anywhere else and if you want to understand how to get into this whole thing I think this is a nice book to start off with. My second recommendation is also a finance book and it's one of my personal favourites and it's the one that brought down finance to me in a, to a nice basic level, a basic easy to understand level and to be honest with you it's one of the books that I think most other financial books are based on and that is of course Rich Dad Poor Dad. Now this book has got a bit of a cheesy title and I think this is a really good book to understand asset finance understand cash flow and you probably think of it way to understand that as a dentist very very important uh, to understand this especially if you're to be aspiring to be a practice owner it just gives you nice mental models to think of when you're dealing with money so that is my second recommendation for you dentist to to read up on now my third recommendation is gotta be again one of my personal favorites and weirdly i don't really see many people reading this book nowadays which i find very shocking Again, it's one of the books that other business books are based on and it is called The 4 Hour Work Week. Now, please don't let the title fool you. It does have a very, very cheesy title. Ideally, they should have named it something else, but I think it was a bit of a catchy, clickbaity title. But the amount of information and different mental models in this book is absolutely shocking. It is one of the books that all describes the idea of automation, it describes the idea of mini retirements and living a life based on your terms. Again, that all sounds very cheesy, but it is absolutely fantastic if you want to see a different way of money or using your time in exchange for money. And the book's written in a nice, easy read manner as well. It's not like a heavy financial book, it's one of my personal favorites. I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Again, please ignore the title. It's got a bit of a cheesy title. I will be doing more of these videos talking about dealing with people, communication, or general things that I read from self-help books. But if you're going to start off leaving dental school and you're thinking what book should I buy to level up next, these three are my personal favorites. They give you a nice good foundation. You got your Total Money Makeover by Dr. Ramsey. You got your Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki. And you've got your uh, four-hour work week with Tim Ferriss. Now, if you have read these books and found the lesson useful, please do leave the comments below. I will be really interested to see what you take away from this. And I've noticed about 90-something percent of the viewers of my channel have not liked or subscribed. Please do that. It really helps the channel out. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.